Hello everyone, welcome back to Thousand Life fam. If you're new here, my name is Janet and this is Love Thousand Lives. Today I'm doing the second video for my new series of the Shadowhunters world and reading them in chronological order, which I've never done before. So, um, the book that is going to be in this video, and it will probably just be this book because it's a longer book, is clockwork angel i have not started this yet i'm getting ready to start now chris from chris's corner has sprints going and it is so helpful so i'm reading with the sprints um so i'm gonna start this now and i'm gonna make some notes so that i remember but i'm also going to be like telling you guys as i go so there will be spoilers in this video for the book so if you don't want that turn away now <laughs> um I'm trying not to make them too spoilery but if something really bothers me or if something really excites me or whatever I'm going to say it like most people have read this series before so I'm just doing it the way I want so bear with me but anyway I'm gonna go and do some reading and I will talk to you guys later <laughs> bye <laughs> Okay, so I just read the prologue for this. It's very interesting. We first start out with Will and Jem fighting a demon and finding a 14-year-old girl's dead body. And they're like, it's not the demon who did this. It was a human who did this. So that's interesting. And then we skip to Tessa, who is on a ship. And she's arriving in... Um, I can't remember what it's called now. She's arriving somewhere to go to her brother in London. And when she gets off the boat, her brother's not there. But there's a man who knows her name there. And so she follows him. And then there's two sisters, the dark sisters, who are like, we have a note from your brother. We're supposed to take you to him. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, now I'm going to start um, chapter one, which is the dark house. So I'm assuming this is going to be more on the lines of the dark sisters and Tessa and what's going on there. And I'm excited to see how she meets Will and Jem and what their connection is going to be and like how we find things out and stuff so so far so good like i'm really enjoying it um the prologue was super easy to read super fast paced so i am looking forward to continuing on but i thought that i would update you and let you know that i have read a little bit we have about six minutes and 45 seconds left in this sprint so i'm going to read a little bit more and then we'll chat for five minutes on the sprint and then and then if Chris is continuing sprints, then I will continue reading with them. Anyway, I'm going to go. I will talk to you later. Bye for now.
hello it is monday the 8th of april it's three o'clock in the afternoon this is the first time i've been able to read mondays are a little hard because um my husband is off work and so we try to do the things we need to do like call appointments make appointments <clears throat> go to appointments go on dates like that kind of stuff so um I haven't really had a chance yet. So, last night, I got to page 75 of this. And I'm very much enjoying this. This is about Tessa, who is kind of a creature, all creature. She's a down worlder but she has no demonic blood so they're trying to figure out what she actually is all they know is that she can shape shift which is interesting because i don't think we've had except for demons we haven't had shape shifters so it'll be interesting to see how her story goes um she was supposed to go to london to meet her brother and her she gets kidnapped by these two sisters and then she gets rescued by these shadow hunters. One thing I will say as well is she <clears throat> she didn't know that she had special abilities until she was kidnapped. So I don't know if someone created her or what. Um, the other thing that is interesting in this book is they talk about mermaids but they don't talk about that as far as I'm aware or remember in the TV show or the books so that's interesting did they all die out or something or what like I, I don't know and what other creatures are going to be in here that we don't really know about you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry if I'm talking funny. My tongue hurts today. Um, it's not as bad as it has ever been, but it does kind of hurt today. So bear with me. Um, but I'm on chapter four, page 75. Chris from Chris's Corner is doing some sprints, but I, I'm late to them. i for four hours. Um, and I think she went for like an hour, maybe more. So I'm going to try to get some reading done right now um and then we'll see how it goes so i'm gonna go do that i'm gonna set you guys up so you can come along for a little bit because i haven't done that yet in this vlog so here we go bye for now think is painful but really I'm grateful I think I've seen this before this is the part where you say you want me to I say I love you then you go act a fool that's how the story goes just wanna let you know no need to sugarcoat it it's getting old there's not much to uphold almost like legal goals no need to sugarcoat it I can't 
Psycho for you. Play tricks with my mind like voodoo. Might be a danger to you, but that ain't old news. Losing all clues. That's how the story goes. Just wanna let you know. No need to. Hello. It is 4 11, April 11th. It is 11 30. I'm on sprints with Chris's Corner. Um, I really enjoy their sprints so I will probably be on their sprints a lot in my videos I'm reading Clockwork Angel I'm on page 129 and I'm gonna try to get at least a hundred pages today um or close because you know so 129 is in the middle of a chapter so I'll probably go to 2.48, so like this much. Um, and then hopefully I can finish or get close to finishing this tomorrow. Um, but I need to finish this so I can move on to the next book, which is Clockwork Prints. Is that right? Yeah, Clockwork Prints. Um, my mouth is really hurting today. But it's not my tongue. It's like my cheek area. I don't know what's happening. That's that. I'm going to go. I may be reading some on sprints today. I'm going to at least read for a couple of them. Chris usually goes really long. I'm um, like a couple of hours. Like sometimes it's like four hours. Sometimes it's like eight hours. So I'll have time. To read but I'm also working on my TBR game for next month trying to get like more prompts and stuff like that um I also might be doing getting ready to create a new TBR game but not 100% sure yet maybe a next year thing and then I also need to film some videos today so there's that as well um and i have a counseling appointment with joe tonight so what's going on today so anyway i'm gonna go do some reading and i will update you in a minute <laughs> bye for now <laughs> Getting old, there's not much to uphold. I'll most likely go go. No need to sugarcoat it. I can't be the one to hey, yeah. That was super weird. I just started reading and only read three pages. And Will and Jem have gone to the place where Tessa was being held by the Dark Sisters. And they're like looking room through room and all the rooms are empty except for this one. Jem goes in and there's a woman sitting in a lone chair that's the only piece of furniture in the room. And they think she's dead, right? But then she like starts saying beware and she like says like beware nephilim as you slay others so you shall be slain your angel will not protect you from that which is neither god nor the devil made and then she just starts screaming like beware beware it creeped me out to the point where i got goosebumps which is why i had to say something <laughs> it was creepy anyway sorry Back to the book. <laughs> I 
Cause you're full of oh, The girl was a machine, not an actual like human or anything. Creepy. We ain't feeling how we did this last night. Trying to find my way, trying to act right. Taking shots in the dark, need a flashlight. So Tess is out with Jasmine, Jas Jasmine, Jessamine. Anyway, it's a weird spelling of Jasmine. Um, <clears throat> and they were like out shopping, and Jasmine's talking about wanting to leave the institute because she doesn't want to be a shadow hunter, and <clears throat> she wants Tessa to pretend that they're sisters or cousins or something and live together, and they end up off of the path they were walking in the park into like a shady place and this goblin which I didn't know there was goblins I'm interested to see if like the mermaids and goblins the things that aren't in the mermaid instruments if they die out or what but anyway um <clears throat> Tess or Jasmine um, the goblin is like, I'm going to spill your blood and get the diamonds that grow from this land off of your blood. Um, and Jasmine like freaks and she, she kills him. And Tessa's like, stop. And then Jasmine's like, I didn't know what I was doing. So I think Jasmine might have some mental illness. I don't know, but that's what I'm thinking. Either that or she really hates downworlders. Which is interesting because Tessa technically is a downworlder. So we'll see. Anyway, there's like two minutes left on the clock. I have like six minutes left on recording. So I'm going to finish this page and then stop for now to communicate. <laughs> So we're on sprint number two. <clears throat> we just found out that the magistrate who was in charge of the Dark Sisters holding Tessa to become his wife is someone that is on the council for the clave. It's a downworlder vampire. Um was did not see that coming. Shook. Shook it. But not really surprised at the same time because it had to have been someone who would have known about them. And like I don't know. So anyway, I just thought I would bring that up. Dang. Crazy. Just got to 
page 155, chapter 7. I am going to go get something to eat. It's 12.18 now. I'm starving. We have 10 minutes of the sprint, so it's a perfect time to do it now that I've gotten to a new chapter. Um, so, I'm going to go do that, and I will be back to hopefully read some more. Um, I've got some videos, stuff to do, um, but yeah. I will talk to you later. Bye for now. <laughs> Hello. It's 2.36. Oh, come here. And I've been reading, working on my TBR. This is the kitty, Adam. So cute. He's been with me most of the day. Just loving on me. Mm. Yeah. His eyes remind me of Magnus's from the TV show. So like these really pretty amber color eyes. Anyway, we just got to a part where Camille's in it. Um, and I'm starting to see her like manipulative, like side. So we'll see how it goes. So. I'm going to keep reading. There's about 19 minutes left of the sprint. I was going to film, but I don't know. Um, I have an appointment at 4, so I actually need to get ready for that instead of get ready to film a video. So I'm going to read for a little bit and then a little bit longer and then get ready for that. I wasn't expecting to see Camille so soon. I don't know why. And we haven't seen Magnus yet. I think that Camille has uh, alluded to Magnus, but his name has not been mentioned. I'm also trying to figure out who who is, like, related to who. That's also interesting. I may do, like, a family tree for each character and see if I can work it out. But you'll see that later. Probably once I'm done with like all the books. But yeah. Anyway, it's going good so far. I'm on page um, 182. Like I said, I'd really like to be up to chapter, I think it was like chapter 11 or something. Yeah, chapter 11, it was like 240 something. Um, so I'm working my way there um like i said i would really like to be done with this book tomorrow or saturday so that i can move on to the next one and i'm really enjoying this series a lot i really like tessa um and i really like um gem uh will reminds me a lot of jace which i think they're related so that doesn't surprise me as much and I'm not saying Jace is a bad character he's just not my favorite and then there is a Lightwood who gets mentioned every once in a while so I'm wondering if they're gonna be like um either more like Izzy or more like Alec and in this book it seems like the London Institute treats downworlders pretty nicely and isn't as like um against downworlders yet so i'm wondering what's gonna happen to make them more wary of downworlders so anyway i'm gonna go i've been talking for like four minutes so i'm gonna go read and i will update you later bye for now hello good morning it is about 8.45, 9 o'clock, 8.55 on Friday, April 19th. I have not updated you guys in probably a week. Um, Sunday I ended up in the ER. Shocker, I know. I'm fine, nothing major. I thought that my tongue was infected. Come to find out, wasn't. So that's good. Um, they're not sure what's going on. 
so that's not so good. But anyway, I have not touched this in a week. I'm on page 240, and this is 480, no, 478 pages or 79 pages. Um, my cat is being a nuisance. So, I need to read some of this today. So, I'm going to bring it with me to um, my son's track meet because um, I have to take him to the place and, um, cat, then I have to sit there while they, like, practice and while they set up and whatever. So, I'm just going to sit and read somewhere while he's doing that. He only has one event. So, we should be able to leave, I'm assuming, sooner rather than later. Um, so I can come home. Anyway, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. And I think I'm going to read some before then too. Um, but, yeah. I was supposed to like film videos this week. And for May. And I just have not felt up to doing it um and then when I do something comes up like the other day I was gonna do it and my son called and needed me no Psst. Kenny sorry he's being a nuisance today and last night so I didn't sleep well um but anyway so I think I'm gonna film I might film today. My tongue is being very sensitive, um, which is part of the reason I haven't been filming. But I really need to get a move on on things. So that's kind of that. I have some videos already scheduled for May. Three, I think. One, two. Yeah, three. But I really need to do the rest. Like, I need two more tags. And my May TBR, if I'm going to do it. I think I am, but I'm going to try to put all Cassandra Clare books on it because of this challenge I'm doing. Um, and then I've got some others that I need to do. So that's that. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. I really like Tessa as a main character. I think she's great. Um, I have a prediction about, oh, what's her name? What's her name? Oh, Jasmine. Jasmine. I feel like she's going to turn bad on us. Um, that's just my opinion. I don't know that. Um, but I have a feeling. I have like this gut feeling that she's going to be bad. Um, and then... Will and Jem. Will really reminds me of Jace a lot. Jem reminds me of Simon in a way. Like he's more reserved. Um, and I'm not sure what's going on with Jem. Like he's a very sick person. Like not like mind sick he's actually got like a disease or something um but we're not sure they haven't told us what it is yet but i know jim from the immortal instruments he's brother jeremiah i think um so i'm confused how does he get from being a sick shadow hunter to being a silent brother? Guess we'll find out. Anyway. My cat is being a nuisance. I'm going to go. I'm going to stop talking because my tongue hurts right now. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye for now.
try, but they can drown me. These memories are grounding. I feel you all around me. These shadows still surrounding. We try, but they can drown me. These memories are grounding. Hello. It is cold. <laughs> um, I'm very, very cold. It is 4.30 on the dot on Sunday, April 21st. I still need to finish this. I'm on page 294, chapter 13. So I have this much left. And not even all of this, because some of it's for like other books and stuff. I have oops, this much left. So I'm going to try to finish this today and move on to Clockwork, what is it, Clockwork Prints um, and try to finish that by the end of the month, which is the 30th. Fingers crossed because I might actually need to finish it sooner because I need to do my TBR game for May and figure out Chris's phase out your TBR a thon plus Allison's start and stop buddy read so and I won't know that book until the 28th which is next Sunday so I'm thinking um, I'll probably film my TBR that Sunday Sorry, the lighting just changed in here. The sun decided to shine through the window. I need to finish this. And I kind of need to finish that other one by the 28th. So, I'm going to stop blabbing. Um, I am liking this. Actually, before I start blabbing. I am liking this. Um, we've just found Tessa's brother. And he was with a vampire. The silent brothers have come to heal him. And he's terrified of them because the guy who kidnapped him told him that vamp or the silent brothers are evil and all this stuff it's very interesting they uh the shadow the shadow hunters the silent brothers do not know what tessa is she's not a warlock she is not a shadow hunter she's not um a vampire or a werewolf or a fae like they don't know what she is per se i'm wondering if she was created kind of like um some of the people from the immortal instruments like she was experimented on as a child or in the womb or something i don't know or maybe when she was kidnapped i don't know um those are my theories so i'm gonna read for I'm gonna put an hour on my timer see how far I get and then go from there so I'm gonna put on my forest app if you don't know what the forest app is um, I have a link to my friend code in the description box um, it's a really cool app where you can grow hello um, imaginary forests and um, once you hit a certain amount you can actually grow real trees so that's really cool so I'm gonna set mine for an hour um, what one do I want to do sunflowers just because that's my plan so as you can see it's set for an hour well, let's go. Dark when nobody sees me. You hear my heart, a lovely melody beating. You take my hand, ask me to dance, and suddenly I'm in a trance. I just see you shine with the moon softly. Oh. 
So I just read chapter 13 and I forgot from last night's reading that Will kissed Tessa and it was like this real passionate kiss and then he like pushed her away and was like you need to get out of here, you need to get out of here. Will during their fight with the vampires when they found Nate, Tessa's brother, Will drank some or bit a vampire and some blood got in him and so like his whole mood had changed but I'm not sure if it's that or something else going on because now he's trying to convince the director of the institute to kick Nate, Tessa's brother, out of the institute because they're taking care of him because he's like kind of gone crazy and stuff um, so I'm not really sure what that's all about. So, I have about 30 minutes left. I'm going to read some more. Hopefully it's chapter 15 before the timer's up. And I will update you then. Okay. Bye. very cold today um anyway I'm over here I've been filming a video that's take, gonna take me like a week to film and then probably a week to edit but I am on Chris's sprints right now and I'm going to try to finish this I have about 100 pages left and that's it I need to get this done so Let's crack on, shall we? Hello, this is a new place. I'm near the front door. This is our new chair. It's great. Sorry if I sound funny. My tongue and my mouth, like this whole side of my face, really hurts. And so that's why I haven't been like recording today, but I only have 20 pages left. Holy crap. So. Um, I've been listening to the audiobook and reading along at the same time, which is a great experience. So I got the uh, the next two books 
in this series, Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess, uh, from my library as audiobooks too, so that, like, if I need to do laundry or if I need to do housework, I can listen to them, but also read along. Yeah, and Chris from Chris's Corners had their sprints today, and I love their sprints. I always get so much reading done. Um, I had over 100 pages left when I started, and we just finished it, and now I have 20 pages. So, gosh, I'm so sorry that I sound like this. Oh, look, there's Adam. There's my kid. Kiki! Kiki! What are you doing? Say hi, kitty. Say hi, kitty. Oh, kisses. He knows when I'm upset already. Like, he's a newer, a newer addition to our family. Hi. Say hi. But he lo- Oh, sorry, buddy. He loves to give me kisses, and he's my kitty. Like, we actually got him for my husband, but he loves me the most, huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Ow, don't bite! He's still a kitten, so we're teaching him, like, not to bite and stuff like that, so. Oh, that was awful. Anyway, uh, I will update you guys. Well, no, I'm going to tell you what I've been thinking. So... Um, they thought they found out who the magister was behind Tessa's kidnapping and whatever. They thought it was a vampire named De Quincey. Um, come to find out it was not De Quincey. It was a human, a mundane, who knew Tessa and Nathaniel's parents. And then, um... We find out that Nathaniel has been working with him and betrayed the Shadow Hunters and betrayed his sister. He, because of, so Tessa is like, has uh, the same mom as Nathaniel, but not the same dad. And her, stop, that is my hair. And her mom was tricked into having relations with a man thank you cat who looked like her father so basically like a demon shapeshifter person who could switch into somebody and that's how tessa was born so nathaniel is like she she's dead to me she's not my sister so uh the magistrate and nathaniel um, plan the same where all the shadow hunters leave except for Jessamine, that's her name, not Jasmine, Jessamine. And Tessa stays behind and they, um, so they launch an attack to try to kidnap Tessa and they kill Agatha, the cook, who's like a mother to Sophia, who's another, like, serve it and they kill Thomas I love Thomas who was another servant uh Sophie has a site so does Agatha and Thomas um but anyway so they kill Thomas and he was in love with Sophie but Sophie is in love with Jem Jem and Will had gone off to defeat the Dark Sisters and realize they've been lied to, so Will comes back and finds Tessa on the floor dying, dying, um, and he kills or tries to kill the magistrate, the human guy, but he vanishes like a warlock would do. But he's human. So something's going on there. I'm not really sure. Um, and then Tessa. Actually. She's a shapeshifter. If you didn't know. If I haven't said that already. She changes in. She changed into someone else. While she plunged a knife into her own heart. Or chest. So that 
the magistrate would think she was dead and leave. And not try to come after her anymore. So, he, um, once he's gone and she knows Will's there, she changed, like, she tells Will that she had changed into someone else. So the blood wasn't actually hers, but it convinced the guy that she had died. Um, and Will's, like, really weird with her. Like, he loves her, but he says he's lost everything. I don't know. There's a lot to Will that I hope we find out. But there's two more books, so who knows. Um, but anyway, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I really like Tessa as a female character. She's amazing. And I really love Jem. He's just like a cinnamon roll. He's like a comfort. And then I really like Will, but Will reminds me of Jace a lot, which is kind of fitting since they're related. Yes. But anyway, I'm going to go. I've been talking for seven minutes. My mouth hurts. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to read the 20 pages. And I will let you guys know at the end what I thought of the ending. And then that will be it for this vlog. And I'll start the next one. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello. It's almost 11 at night. But I finally finished Clockwork Angel. And... I'm confused. Something is really wrong with Will. Um, you can tell that he has songs for Tessa, but that he feels like, or that he doesn't feel. I don't know, it's really weird. Um, but anyway, Tessa, they ask her to stay at the Institute, even though she is not a Shadow Hunter Shoots a warlock of some sort and so she's so excited she's like yes me and Will can be together so she like goes and tells him and then he's like actually we can only like fool around we can't actually be in a relationship and like he like really hurts her feelings like does really cruel things to her like tells her she can't have children and all this stuff and so then Jem is talking to Tessa and he's so sweet and loving as always. I just love Jem. Um, <clears throat> and then Will goes to Magnus and is like, Magnus, I need your help. I can't ask anyone else. But it stops there. So, uh... I want to start reading the next book, so I will probably do that maybe tonight, if not tonight, tomorrow for sure. It was really good. I think I'd probably give it a four, four, four and a half star. Yeah. Um, only because, like, it wasn't, like, the most amazing thing I've ever read, but it was really good. So, four and a half, not too bad. Um, so yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video. Uh, do the little bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. Consider hitting the subscribe button to join a thousand like fam with us here. Comment down below. Let me know if you've read this book, if you liked it. Let me know what you're thinking of this series so far. Share the video, tell your friends. Uh, it would mean a lot to me. Uh, don't forget to check out the description box, which has all my social media links, as well as my Amazon wish list and mental health links if you're someone who needs them, please use them. Remember, guys, your radio loves a thousand lives, so can you? So keep on reading. Remember to stay safe and healthy, be happy and kind, and always love one another. See you in the next video. Bye.
making me hate you. Probably think it's painful, but really I'm grateful. I think I've seen this before.